everyone so i hope you're all having a really lovely day it's actually super super warm today um so i'm dying to get out in the garden and um so a little bit but i wanted to get this up for you first and it is time for monthly favorites i cannot even believe where this year is going it's actually very depressing because i've never managed to get half the stuff i need to done done need to get done done um but i have got a few quite interesting products to share with you this month so let's get started with body care number one is this um well i guess it's a shower gel isn't it but it's the imperial leather foam burst body wash and this is the sheer butter and orange blossom kind i use this to shave my legs with and it is the best thing ever it's so thick so luxurious it smells beautiful it lasts for ages and it gives you a really beautiful shave and it kind of it's like a shaving foam with substance if that makes sense it's not like a kind of just wishy-washy shaving foam it really kind of clings to the skin nicely and gives a really nice finish can't recommend this enough it smells gorgeous as well would be nice as a shower gel on its own really um then another body product i mentioned this on instagram recently and i have rediscovered the dove visibly visible glow self tanning lotion this is in the medium to dark skin variety looks a little something like this is it focusing i'm getting confused i don't know um but basically it's a gradual tanner and what i've been using it for is when i put fake tan on on the days where i like i'm not fake tanning i've been putting this on and it just makes your tan a little bit darker prolongs it if you're somebody who fake tan doesn't last very long on them this is a great way to go and it doesn't smell like fake tan that's the thing the palmer's um cocoa butter one is the one i usually use and i love the color that that gives but this smells so so much nicer it's like a kind of subtle fresh dove peach smell it smells beautiful um i i can't stop using this i've pretty much used it every night it's gorgeous i mean you can see i think like how i look a little bit more tan than i usually do I've, like can you see my boob no you can't you're okay um yeah we can't recommend this enough and it's really cheap as well it's like four quid or something um then let's move on to hair care let's do hair care because i've only got one in that category um this is from tropic and tropic is a brand that i pretty much love everything i ever try from if i'm being honest and this is the nourishing hair cleanser i thought it's cleaner and then i was like cleanser cleaner cleanser um and it comes with this kind of like scalp massaging little device which looks weird but it actually feels really really good and you use it um, instead of a shampoo but it doesn't irritate your scalp it's really gentle but it really clarifies your scalp and then if you use it in conjunction with this you really give your hair a good kind of clean and it feels amazing it's got like a kind of nice minty sort of rosemary mint fresh kind of scent so it feels really invigorating when you use it and it's definitely something that if you suffer from a sensitive scalp like i do you probably do need in your life um then let's do a little bit of facial skincare because i've only got one in this category this is the um b glow i can't remember exactly what the device is called but basically it is a kind of sonic cleansing um massaging device you have different settings and you use it to cleanse your face with this part and massage your product in with this part and it's so good i can't stop using it my skin feels so like lifted and glowy and lovely after i've used this i've been using it most nights with my cleanser and you basically just turn it on here remember then there's different like strengths and you just go about your face with it it's so so good i'll link where you can get it from and everything below um but i have been using it for a little while now and i think it's such a such a good little device I haven't been impressed by a cleansing device like this in ages so i love that um that is everything for skincare and stuff i think everything else i've got now is pretty much makeup bar one fragrance favorite um which is this and this is eternal summer from ps love which is Primark and this smells like Tom Ford's and really Portofino which is what I'm wearing today and I've now just topped it up with a Primark one. The Primark one's a little bit less sophisticated, a little bit more lemony um, but really really lovely. Nice kind of after you put a shower in the evening type of fragrance. This is just a little handbag size just because I wanted to see what it smelled like but it's a really really nice fresh kind of lemony zesty kind of scent. So I really recommend that, it's like three quid as well. Then let's do makeup favourites. So number one is a makeup brush. 
and it looks really dirty but I actually did wash this brush yesterday and this is the Real Techniques um, Powder Blue B1 so it's the powder um, brush beautiful beautiful brush but it just is so beautiful for powder because it doesn't pick up too much product I like how it's kind of slightly tapered on the end so you get a little bit more of a kind of a pointed um, tip and for sort of like just placing powder in areas like here and here it works really well doesn't pick up too much product as I said and it's just a beautiful brush isn't it like so gorgeous the blue and the shape I love this brush um, then let's do makeup faves. Actually, they're two really expensive and two really cheap. Shall I do the expensive first? Number one is a mascara, and I'm obsessed with this. You know I tend to like high-end mascaras. MAC um, does my favourite mascara, and this is just as good. And this is the Superhero Mascara by It Cosmetics. I'm not crazy about the packaging. I think the packaging's a bit weird, but the effect is mind-blowing, okay? Look at my eyelashes today. So I've got just two coats of this on and I've got the world's crappiest eyelashes and it literally makes it look like you've got falsies on. I don't know how well the camera is kind of picking up on that. Can I come closer? Can you see? It doesn't smudge either. It looks like a little bit smudgy here but that's just because it's so warm today and I've had sunglasses on and I've been in and out and running errands and stuff. So it's probably kind of worn a little bit away where I've touched it. But it stays put really well and the effect that it gives is just so good. I feel like you can't see it on camera as well. Can you see it like that? But literally, like, my eyelashes stop here. And they're normally so crappy. Um, and I love it. The brush also is very nice and easy to use. It's a bristle brush, but it's a very small, tapered one. I just love this mascara. I don't know how much it is. I'm going to look up how much it is, because it cosmetics did send it to me. Um, but, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to repurchase more of this. Um, then, I feel bad for even showing this, okay, because Q to be absolutely disgusted. This lipstick is from Tom Ford. They are insanely expensive. I got it as part of some work I did with Debenhams, and I thought, you know, yes, it's a nice lipstick, I'll get it. I had like a voucher thing. Um, I'll get it because I'm not going to buy myself a lipstick um, from Tom Ford because they're just so expensive. And, you know, it'll be a nice lipstick, it'll be nice to have, whatever. The formula of this lipstick is so beautiful, and I want more. This is um, from the Boys and Girls collection, and this is in the shade James, which is number 19. The colour is absolutely beautiful. It's just a gorgeous, like, peachy, corally colour. And the whole lipstick, I mean, look at that. Is that not just the most beautiful, beautiful thing you've ever seen in your life? I want to, like, put it just like this out on my dressing table and just look at it, because it's just so, so beautiful. Um, yeah, I like this. Um, the formula is just gorgeous as well, stays put without being dry for ages. Then my drugstore phase, which both happen to be a L'Oreal, just coincidence really. Both in the same range, I think. Oh no, it's not. Um, so this is the L'Oreal Lip Paint in Hollywood Beige. This range is really hit and miss in my opinion. The colours, how they look here is not how they actually look when you put them on, which is a bit annoying. Um, I've got the red one, which is, like, looks red and it's actually completely orange. But the Hollywood Beige shade is actually a really, really pretty colour. I'm going to swatch it here for you. It's literally just like a sort of nice peachy nude kind of colour. Nice if you don't want something too nude, you need something with a little bit of colour. The formula is quite nice. You have to kind of do a layer, blot, do a layer, blot, because they don't set. I'm a bit confused as to the formula of these, if I'm being honest. They're not my favourite formula. You do have to work with them a little bit, but the colour is really pretty. I've worn it a lot this month. And then another rediscovery for me has been this foundation from L'Oreal, and it's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Mattifying Foundation. I've got it in the shade Sand, which is my shade when I'm tanned. So good. Um, build medium to buildable coverage, matte but not flat, goes on nicely with a beauty blender and just stays put really well. Um, it's not like it's not as good at oil control and that kind of thing as something like Revlon Colors Day, but it's still pretty um, decent and I really really like it. So those are all of my beauty favourites. Now moving on to non-beauty favourites. I've only got a TV show to recommend this month um, and it is 13 Reasons Why, which you probably are thinking, really, you said you hate that programme. I did hate the first season. I watched it and I thought, why the hell am I even watching this programme? I don't even like it. I don't even like any of the characters. I really don't even like the main character. 
Um, but the second season is much, much better. Mainly because I think the first season very much is focusing on Hannah and why she did what she did, whereas the second season is focusing with kind of a much bigger storyline. It's also focused a lot more on the boys in the program, which I think is a little bit more um, just refreshing to watch. And it's kind of, it's not as teenage drama school as the first season was, which I just thought like, why? I, I didn't like it. Um, they deal with some really taboo subjects in it, like they deal with gun violence, they deal with sexual assault on multiple different levels. Um, the last episode is really kind of harrowing, um, but I enjoyed it a lot more this season. The first kind of three to four episodes was a bit like a oh, stupid programme, and then I got really into it and I really, really did enjoy it. And I actually think that quite a few of the actors in it kind of have come into their roles a lot better and are a lot better this season as well. So yeah, that's my only non-beauty recommendation, I think. Yeah, I think that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Please let me know what you have been loving this month because I'm always curious. And if you've got any TV show recommendations for me, as always as well, I would love to know. And I'll see you next time. Bye.